Hey guys, welcome to Big Daddy's Little Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you my recipe for onion rings. These things are absolutely simple, easy, and cheap to make at home. They're pennies on the dollar compared to the restaurants, and when I tell you much better, you're not going to believe it until you taste it. So stick around, when we come back, I'm going to show you how I do it next. Okay guys, the first thing you're gonna need is a couple onions, and depending on how big of an order you wanna make, that's how many you're gonna need. I cut these onions up after we peel them to about a quarter inch thick, and we're gonna do something called soaking it in ice water after that. So to prepare your onions, you're gonna wanna go ahead, clean them, and then just start cutting off the ends, and I'll get this skin off. You can use either yellow or white onions in this, I've used both and I don't think it really has a huge taste difference personally. These yellow onions are going to be probably a little bit sweeter, but again, that is not going to be a huge, huge deal breaker in the world of onion rings for me. I cut sections here of this onion ring and we will just start pulling these apart. So the next thing we want to do is grab a bowl and we're going to add some cold water and ice to this bowl. I'll be right back with that next. And lower them into this ice water and let them sit here for a few minutes. I like to let them sit for 10-15 minutes and get them nice and icy cold and break them apart gently. If the onion rings break, don't panic. They still taste absolutely as delicious as the rings that are whole. The reason why we're going to add these into the ice water is once they hit the hot grease, they will start to fry quicker and crispier than if you leave this step out. So at this point, we're going to let them sit and get nice and icy cold. So with these onion rings, I think one of the best things is a great sauce to add to onion rings. So I'm going to show you how I do it next with mayo, ketchup, and a few other ingredients. It's very easy to make and it just takes seconds. Stick around and watch this. pieces of onion and you lift them out of the water and you can do this in one or two ways with your fingers if you don't mind your fingers getting all messy or with some tongs. So what I do today is just go ahead and drop them in there and lightly coat these on one side with the other side, get them through there and then we're going to shake them off, shake any excess flour off, dip them into your buttermilk like so and get that off of it, place it back into your, into your flour mixture and coat it 
And once you get it coated well, it's ready to go. temperature at this point to about 350 degrees and I'm going to carefully lower these onion rings in like so. And I usually do a couple at a time with a pot this small, you probably do three or four. And drop those in and let them sit. Once they start coming up to the top and they become golden brown, you know they're done. started coming up to the top of the oil and at this point here when the bubbling of the oil slows down to almost a complete stop you know your rings are just about done. Nice golden brown, and they're starting to float to the top. That easy, that quick, and that simple. Okay, so it looks like we're coming down to the last batch of rings. We're going to go ahead and pull these out in just a second. Okay, guys, we're at the end of the recipe. And believe it or not, one of my two onions today was not exactly perfectly good. So I really didn't get to use that onion. I used a couple slices from it, but that was about it. So what you're looking at is absolutely one large onion. And it made all these rings. The sauce is in the middle. They look delicious, but just to be sure, I think we should try just maybe one of these to see how it turns out. So I'll grab one of these here. delicious. Don't take my word. Try this recipe for yourself. Until next time, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you here at Big Daddy's Little